G'day guys, welcome back to Sydney Motorsport Park. We've got some pretty interesting Fords behind us here. I've got James from Driving Solutions here with me as well. James, what are we here doing, mate? Well, they're very standard cars at the moment. So we're doing some really cool things with Motorsport Australia this year and some young kids. So we basically want to try and get a bit more grip in the rear end. So I thought let's look at some handbrakes and see how accurate we can do and what we can actually achieve out of these cars. Yeah, all right. Sounds like a sounds like a fun time. Oh, so you're only pouring your own? I'll just help myself then, shall I? Uh, you know where the glass is, mate. So realistically, like with a standard car, you pull the handbrake on and it's just a nice sort of slow drift. I guess with a bit of handbrake and a bit of help, we might be able to get those turns really tight and accurate. All right, so the factory stuff in these things, not much job? Do perfectly for the park on a hill start or to get your license, but when we're out on the skid pan doing precise things, we need to step it up. All right. Well, I reckon we, we jump in these and see, see how they get on in factory form. Oh, cheers. Cheers. All right, so should we go for a drive? I reckon so, mate. Do you, Wes? Well, let's see what this actually does. So obviously Focus, Standard, ST. We're just going to go for a drive along here, and then we'll actually have a bit of a play with this handbrake here. All right. Let's... So I'll just step off the gas, turn it, Wow. Mate, I almost spilled my tea. Mate, I think this is the closest thing I'm going to get to a donut today in this. <laughs> Do your worst. <laughs> Got to remember to turn it off as well. <laughs> How's that tea hanging in there? Mate, I'm doing, nice, nice angle. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> mate, <laughs> tea on. There's some good angles going on there. Wish I had cum cam. <laughs> <laughs> So you can really see how you've got to put so much steering on to get round. So oh, yeah. I guess with a nice hydraulic handbrake, you'd just be banging it on and then away you go. Yeah, you can pull it harder, longer, faster. Oh mate, look at that. Oh. I thought I'd give you a wash down. Good? <laughs> <laughs> Sam Young. <laughs> so do you reckon I might need a bit of Maguire's now? <laughs> yeah, do you have some boys? <laughs> You weren't going to let me off easy, were you? <laughs> hey, I dropped it as well. In, inside, inside, quick. <laughs> oh, I smell like tea bags, mate, but besides that, it's all right. Is that what they mean by tea bagging? I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm glad that was white with one. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I hadn't spilled a drop until he did that. <laughs> We've had tea bagging in the workplace, we've got scalding. Yeah, it's all going all right. We used coolant so we could get past 100 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the old fashioned hot hatch challenge. Like Fiesta ST's always been up there. Now we're in manual. So two mm. things to do, handbrake. And I guess the big thing is let's see how it actually works. So if we just come in here a bit hotter now. Got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate. <laughs> That's not working well, is it? <laughs> and, and can you see already how this handbrake's been used once or twice too many times already and there's no bite in it whatsoever? Yeah. So I guess that's where the hydraulic will keep that consistency up. Yeah, nice reliable uh, pull every time you want to use it. Well, that's a lot like Sam, isn't it? No, <laughs> minus the reliable. Let's give it another shot, shall we? All right. I think, I think I got burnt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think you really are sorry. I think we need a clean up in aisle three. Uh, can we get some Maguires? Stat. So, what do you reckon? Hydraulic handbrake, 
hot hatch, hot cross buns. How could we go wrong? Maybe a thermos, one of those locking lids. Locking lids, those spill cups would be really good. It'd be fantastic, mate, because um, as much as I like spending time here at Sydney Motorsport Park, it's usually not for the purpose of drying out in the sun. Yeah, so I, I reckon <laughs> you um, we load up, get back to the workshop and see you back here shortly. Let's get it done.